So today we're going to set up the VH11 hi-hat with use for the TD30 module and I'm going to go through the processes. So first we're going to mount our VH11 on our hi-hat stand. So this is just a standard regular hi-hat stand for acoustic kits. So first of all you're going to get three parts with your VH11. So you've got your little spacer. This goes on first. Just pop that over the top. Make sure the sponge part is facing up. That's that done. The motion sensor, a very important bit. This detects the closed and open movements. That goes next, making sure the metal part's on the bottom. That's that done. And your play and plate. So this is going to detect all your stick hits. You want to pop that down. And a very important part, you just don't want to drop this down. You want to make sure it's carefully sat just on top of this. So you don't want to put it right the way down and it's like that. Otherwise, you're going to get inconsistent uh, results. So let's just put that down a bit and tighten it. So as you'll see, another important part is that the Roland logo is, is at the back. So you want to make sure the Roland logo is at the back at all times. This is your main playing area. So this is where all the sensors are. This is where you're going to get your hits. So another vital part, Roland logo is always at the back. So that's the physical setup part done. And we're going to now move on to the calibration side of things. So we're going to put our hi-hat in position where we want it and we're now going to connect this up to the module. So another important part, you've got your two cables which connect to the hi-hat. You've got HHC, hi-hat control, this needs to go into your motion sensor and then you've got HH and this goes into the main play and plate. So Make sure they are connected the right way around, otherwise it's not going to work. And we can now move on to the calibration process. So what we want to do is go to trigger and then press F3 for hi-hat. And this is another vital part, as you can see there, it's set to VH13. In that case, it's that's not the hi-hat that we're using. We want to set that to VH. 11. So that's that done there. So as you can see on the screen there, this is our calibration screen. And what we want to do is get that center bar lined up with the two arrows either side. So this is um, physical movement now. We need to actually adjust the clutch and get that balanced. So what I'm going to do is just drop this just a bit. And now we're going to adjust this wheel and you'll see on the screen that that's going down very gradual and we're there so we've got the two arrows either side highlighted it's in the right position so that was done by adjusting this sort of area on the hi-hat itself. So this is all done with adjusting the clutch. So now that that's done, we want to adjust down to your personal preference as to how much movement you want in the hi-hat. We want to come out of that menu. And let's move this, so. There we go. And that's that calibrated.